All right, so I woke up this morning with some news that the Giants have restructured uh, Leonard Williams' big-ass fucking contract and basically freed up $12 million worth of, uh, worth of spending money, right? Um, I will say this. I know I complain a lot about this team, but I, I, I do wish that probably would have happened much sooner. Um, I think someone as important as James Bradbury probably would still be on his damn team. Um, with that extra $12 million, I really hope we bring in a veteran corner. Um, because I honestly believe we're going to feel the wrath of losing James Bradbury if we do not bring in a veteran corner sometime before Sunday. Knowing this damn team, it probably won't happen Sunday. We probably, Ryan Tannehill is probably going to throw for like 500 yards. And when that happens, then it'll, it'll wake, it'll wake Joe Shane up to bring in a veteran corner knowing how this team operates. It's a shame we got to get our asses whooped before they actually do some smart shit. Uh, but I really do hope that they bring in a, a corner. Um, and the funny part is, I don't even give a damn who it is. It could be Jimmy Smith. It could be, I think he's a free agent, I don't know. It could be Chris Harris Jr. Um, it could be any fucking one. I, I literally do not care. Uh, as long as they are better and smarter than Aaron Robinson. Aaron Robinson is trash. Okay? Um, we're going to give him a chance because he's young and he's shown some type of uh, ability to play last year. Not to mention, there really ain't nobody to fuck else. I mean, Darnay Holmes is going to be playing nickel. Uh, obviously, Adoree Jackson is going to be outside. I mean, I mean, you could have... Um, what's that motherfucker's name? I always forget his name. Is it Cordell Flott? The, the corner we drafted out of LSU, I think in the third round. Um, yeah, you could put him outside, but, uh, I'd rather fucking have Aaron Robinson because, uh, that motherfucker looks terrible too. So, uh, I really hope the Giants, if we're serious about starting off 1-0, and that's a big if, because I honestly think we're going to get our asses whooped this weekend. But if we're really serious about being competitive, we are going to need a veteran corner. Uh, I, I just, I just, we're going to need a veteran corner. I mean, we, we don't have, here's the issue with the Giants. We don't have a nose tackle. So... We're already going to have a problem stopping the run. Aziz Ojolari and and Kader, uh I almost said Kadarius Tony. Aziz Ojolari and uh, Kayvon Thibodeau, them two might not actually play this week, and I pray that they do. Uh, I do think at least one of them will play, but there's a chance they both might not play. We're going to have a hard time stopping Derrick Henry. Whether if they play or not, we're going to have a hard time stopping them, right? Because this is one of the best running backs in the NFL, not to mention we don't have a fucking nose tackle, right? So, uh, the least we can fucking do is try to motherfucking stop Ryan Tannehill from throwing over this fucking defense, at the very least. Um, and I'm sorry, but with Aaron fucking Robinson on the field, I just can't see that shit. I really, really hope that this damn team picks up a fucking corner before Sunday. Um, we have the money to do so now. Um, yeah. So that's my update right now on the Giants. Oh, by the way, you know, I really don't... I, call me crazy, but I honestly don't give a damn about fucking releasing Blake Martinez, to be honest with you. I mean, he's a smart football player, but he's kind of fucking slow. To be honest with you, he's slow and he's pretty shitty in coverage. So, I mean, what does that leave you? It leaves you with a middle linebacker, a veteran linebacker who can tackle. Most fucking linebackers know how to tackle. To be able to cover and actually show some speed is really where you start to separate the good linebackers from the, you know, the, the mediocre ones. So, I'm no, I don't really... 
I'm, I'm a little upset that we're losing him as a veteran piece to this damn defense, but as a football player, I'm honestly good with this damn release. I don't really care, to be honest. Um, it, it, it's not like it's going to make or break our fucking defense. Uh, we're going to have problems anyway. So, yeah, uh, Joe Shane, please bring in a motherfucking corner. Bring in a linebacker while you're at it, but definitely bring in a fucking corner.